figured it was, it was a fight. We figured it was a card because. Oh, intercession! There's my pick six! After two weeks, one week of being torn, and another week of having to take my high school vlogs elsewhere, we're back to normalcy. Clover Tigers. Playoff edition starts now. Get credit to the other team. They traveling the style. Big six. That's how you get the game started. All right, so uh, I got it right at kickoff. Uh, the other team did score a touchdown, but it was the game by a penalty. They did try to move the ball, and then that pick six happened. So they didn't really miss much. I'm going to, the Panthers are there going to get on the board first, but it's Carver was on the board first. It is up. It is good. Seven nothing. All right, third down. Oh, he's going nowhere. Straight out. Put the ball. All right. First player offense for Carver. He got to be. Damn. Had a chance to go 14 nothing. We cuffed the damn ball up. No, three it out right here. Nothing. Put the ball. Oh, Thoreau's partner sucks. God, got a great field position. But we gotta get a touchdown this time, guys. Second down. Come on. Get in there. Get in there. Yeah. Touch down. Let's go. That's a little bit better now. Good. 14 nothing. Let's get it. Let's just show y'all third down place for them. Cause they're not, they not moving the ball. Oh, 
Now what? Come on. Oh, okay. These rest are getting a little flat, flat crazy. That's this is getting too easy. So the quarterback and the running back, I guess, ran into each other on the last play. So yeah, basketball's return for Farrell. Find out they're from Atlanta. I thought Atlanta players were supposed to not to play ball. These guys are like shit. Had yeah, a kickoff return, took, took it back for from a penalty. He had a pick six. And now just three and out win. Three and out, three and out, three and out. And these guys suck. How in the hell are they in the playoffs is beyond me at this point. Come on now. Get it. Yeah. Just go. Fast enough about too, too slow. He aired that son of a bitch out.
It's good. Twenty seven nothing. Nice start. Oh, defense. Oh, not the this for the first time. Alright, so after the two offset so after the offset penalties, we still go for the fourth down. Watch us get this first down. <laughs> or we just call a timeout. <laughs> Still got the first down. There's something. First down. Pillow no. Pillow no. Pillow. Never mind. Forget what I was just about to say. You might as well just put the ball at this point. Holy. All these penalties are slowing the game down. All right, come on now. The Tyson Paul fight will be coming on soon. We, we got to hurry to get this game over with.
All right. We'll see if we get the first down. We'll push, push back a little bit. Air it out. Air it out. Yes! Touchdown! Harvard! Take that away from us, you fucking referee. That's what I'll do that. <laughs> Support is up. It is no good. That's two mistrust of points tonight. 33 to 0. I'll take it over. With another chance of a touchdown before halftime. So Thurl gets a really good kick return. They act like they did something. You're down 33 nothing. Let's see what they do with this uh, field position. Because they don't score all that yipping yapping. They were doing on me. Oh, by the way, this is all who showed up at Farrell. Go to the people I saw that bus. All right, four minutes, three seconds left and a half, by the way. Let's see what they do on the first play of this drive. Man, in motion. Didn't get the first down, so good. On defense. <laughs> Going backwards. <laughs> yeah, you ought to hold your head down. <laughs> Now sack, sack him on this play. Come on, defense. Get him down. Looks like this one is coming back. He's mad. Yeah, this is coming back. So that played on assist. <laughs> he sure did do it. Second in dang it, 26. <laughs> it's a false story. They just continue to go backwards. 
Stop crying, you. Okay, right before that period, I was going to uh, give us the score updates. Uh, right now, uh, in Lumpkin County, the Grange is up 21 to nothing. I was supposed to win one of their games. I think when they play either Troop or, uh, or Callaway, but, you know, that was when I was doing that tour. Well, I was going to do that tour before I canceled it. Uh, they're up 21 to nothing on Lumpkin, Lumpkin, Lumpkin County, excuse me. As far as Harris County, I told y'all beating Carver was a state title. They're down 13 to nothing to Creekside. That, both games are in the second quarter. Oh, I almost intercepted. That would have been a game changer. 40 burger right before halftime. But yeah, Creekside 13, Harris County 0, second quarter. LaGrange 21, Lumpkin County 0, also second quarter. Meanwhile, third at 31. A little over a country mile at this point. Got a good kick return and not doing a damn thing with it like I thought they would. Sack him. He just gave up on that <laughs> Go ahead and put the ball. Y'all suck. Get off the field. Like, just go ahead to Atlanta. Seconds left. All right, this will be the last play of the half. And we shut him out in the first half. Out time, Harbor 33, Farrell 0. We'll be right back after these messages.
That's actually mid 2000s. That bass is showing up. Small band, I just was sure. I gotta say, for them to have a small band. That's actually pretty good. Okay. It's a good thing they're doing good because their football team sucks. Okay. 
These guys suck so bad. Kendrick will probably beat them by two touchdowns. These guys suck. I don't know how in the world they make the playoffs. But uh, don't bring a 3-7 record to the playoffs ever again in life. That's real. Right now, they put up against Morris, and they're down 36. I think that game's not half time. Unfortunately, I did all my research, and yes, this is the same damn Morris team that beat Carver a couple years back in the playoff. I still don't forgive him for that. Damn number 13, running all over my defense like that. What's wrong with him? And those guys are undefeated right now, 10 to 0. Morris does. Like so it looks like Warner Robins will be going home momentarily, just like Pharrell is, Sarah, whatever they call themselves. Just that's why they even showing up. I didn't know they had a band. They, they band showing up. So, I know that. Well, I knew that. I, mean, I, meant to say, I didn't know they band showing up. All right, second and I assume six. Just second down. Oh, now second and 16. Okay, they moved back. Six minutes, two seconds left in the third quarter. Still a good standing for the fight, though. Uh, Phoenix, uh, the Tyson Ball fight is like three fights away now. Unless the other fight just went off. I know that I was in progress. Get him now. Good job. Well, three and out. Let's get it. All right. Another score that this one's from across the water. Uh, Central is actually winning 24 to 7 over Vestavia Hills right now. Uh, that game's up in Vestavia Hills in the Birmingham area. So I guess good job, Central. Um, meanwhile, uh, Opelika is down 16 to 8 to Hoover. Both games are in the second quarter, by the way. I would like to see Hoover win, though. And upset alerts. Also, the second quarter over there at Duck Sanford Stadium, 35 minutes away. Auburn is down 14 to 0 to Thompson High. Oh! Did all that, still can't get the first down. But yeah, um, Auburn's down by two touchdowns right now. Open like it's down. Uh, Central is dominating. So, but we'll see what happens with those games as uh, the night progresses. But um, meanwhile. That was a fourth down by, um, what are these guys doing? Oh, Thero, yeah. And couldn't even get it. Harvard takes over. Four minutes, 30 seconds left in the third quarter, by the way. All right, first play after that debacle of a fake punt. Just run it. He ran. He ran. What? Quarterback keeper. What? He went out of bounds. Oh, has there ever been a score to support yet? Uh, 33 0 still. Just give me a 40 burger, I'm, I'll be all right with that. You only got to put 60 on him, like you did with Kendrick. Okay. First down, move the chains, refs. I thought we was done with these flags after the first half. Yeah. 
Support is good. There's my forty burger. The extra point is good. Two thirty-eight the time. The Tigers forty. There's my forty burger. It's playoff action right here. What is this? A kickoff return. Well, won't be, won't be a shutout, but still gonna win this game though. I don't know what you're talking about. They're not coming. They're not coming all the way back. Hey, fool said this was not over with. Oh, yes, it is. Carver 40, Thurl 7. All right, just in case Carver runs run what back. Oh, he's outside. No, I'm so sorry, Kim, regardless. Try it again and do it right this time. Okay, split kick. Just go. Oh, we in their territory, so I'm good with that. They mad now. They want to throw punches. <laughs> Just that fast. First play. Let's go. Thank God I was going to catch up right before he went muscle on the end zone. They get us able to get the camera on before he went across the end zone. Yes, we do strike again. They're quiet over there. It's good. Third 
fourth quarter just came to an end. And this one is OV already. Just about at the stretch. Fourth quarter back again. The boys are hyped up. Let's get to the last 12 minutes so we can watch this Tyson fight. Alright, so the Tyson fight is officially two fights away now. Uh, Barrios and whoever he's fighting, they're going at it now. The uh, Bandos Ronos and Katie Taylor coming up next after that. I'm probably gonna get ready to break away in a minute. Don't get ready for the fight. Figured it was, it was a fight. Figured it was a card. Because... Oh! Intercession! Oh! Intercession! Oh! Intercession! That's my pick six! But yeah, uh... Oh, yeah, the fight, yeah. Yeah, thankfully, it was a fight card, and the Tyson Paul fight was, was not started at 8, because that prompted me to come to this game. But seeing how the score is, uh, yeah, we probably won't break away soon, but I'm Klaus AP, I got pick 6. I think it's about time to say goodnight to Thurl. <laughs> they going bye bye. Oh, got a flag. Oh, and it's picked up, so moving on. All right, third down. Four minutes, 32 seconds left in the game. Yeah, this is going to be the last drive for me. I don't think I'm going to watch that fight. I don't think I'm playing. I'm going to watch this fight. This game's over here, right? So, I'm just going to watch this last drive, see what happens. Nothing. In between. All right. Fourth down. I said, once you do this fight, I'll stay the rest of this game, but I need to try to get where I need to go. So, yeah, it's going to be the final play I'll show y'all. Well, people, that is all she wrote. By the time I got to my car, uh, Carver was kneeling down from what I heard, and the clock went final. So, the score that you saw right before I left wound up being the final score is pretty dead. Carver wins 54 to 7 uh, to Thurl. Uh, better luck next year. And I'm going to be quite honest, no trash talk. This is all seriousness. Thurl High School had no business on the same field as Carver High School. They went three and seven. They just, they stood no chance from the get-go. Let's, I'm calling it like it is. Um, I was really stunned 
that uh, they even made the playoffs. Kendrick could probably beat these guys. That's how sorry these motherfuckers were, though. Uh, and honestly, I was really, the, like, when I, when I started to hear rumblings, I kind of remember hearing about a Mike Tyson, Jake Paul fight. But once I really, I started to hear some real rumber, rumbers, rumbers, uh, when I started to hear some real rumbles about this fight going down tonight, I was very, very skeptical of whether I was going to go to this game. Because, like, eh, the car would probably win big. Uh, it's probably going to be a blowout. That's Farrell is three and seven. They have no business on the field with Carver. And then I didn't know like if they was gonna do like prelims, but not not prelims, but like I didn't know they was gonna do like um what's what I'm looking for? Not prelims, but um uh, like a like a fight card. So it's like is Mr. Mike Tyson Jake Paul fight is gonna gonna be on the eight. Cause like if it was gonna be on the eight, I probably wouldn't have went to this game. I was, I was thinking to myself, well, Carver should win. They should. I, I just don't see any reason why they wouldn't get a three and seven federal team. Like you beat up on these Columbus schools who went two and eight and four and six and all that. You lose a federal. That would be an embarrassment. But thankfully, uh, there was no embarrassment. Then I found out that uh, there is a score card, uh, fight card, excuse me, and my Mike Tyson Jake Paul fight is going to be later. So that would make, that made my decision. I was like, okay, I can go to the game now. So yeah, Carver moves on to the next round. They would whoop. Ah. <laughs> Look, I talked twice. Carver moves on to the next round. Uh, they will be playing same time next Friday night at seven. I assume right back there at Otis Spencer Stadium, they'll be taking on the winner of the Ringgold Hart County game. And you're a stupid motherfucker for doing that shit. You know the speed limit is like thirty. You going forty five. Hope you get a ticket. But anyways, um. Yeah, right now Ringo's up 12 to nothing over Hart County. That game is in the third quarter, so I will keep an eye on that just to see how that game unfolds and see like if Ringo can hold on or if Hart County can make a fourth quarter comeback. Cause like whoever wins that one, that's who will be playing Carver in the second round next Friday here in Columbus. But um, speaking of Carver, uh, Shaw's also in the playoffs as well. They playing they playing the Carver team. I assume that's the same Carver from Atlanta, though. I don't know what the score is. I uh, didn't really look at it. Uh, Spencer is also playing as well. Uh, last time I checked, they didn't have a score for that one, so I don't know what they're doing. I hope they lose because uh, uh, they're our biggest rivals. And I don't want to see Spencer win at all. But I don't think I have to worry about that because I, I do think they will lose. So we'll see what happens with them. Um, meanwhile, across the river, I, I don't have all the score updates. So I don't know what's going on with LaGrange. Uh, I assume Warner Roberts probably went, went ahead and lost. Um, what else? Uh, I don't. So I don't know what's going on with uh, Central right now or Opelika. I did check out the Auburn score. Uh, that game is in the third quarter now. Or no, it's halftime. It might be in the third quarter now, but I know when I saw the score, it's halftime. Auburn's still losing. Uh, you let me down, Auburn. I, I told y'all from the get-go. I told you last week when I was at Duff Sanford Stadium. I said, go ahead and win you a championship. It was your year to hoist it. You over here struck. You over here losing to Thompson. You, not only you forget the fact you losing to Thompson. You haven't scored a point against Thompson High School. Like, what gives? I'm a little disappointed in y'all. I thought y'all. I thought y'all come out ready to play. Yeah, I hope you. Oh, this is a case of y'all sleepwalking. Y'all make some serious adjustments because if not, this is probably gonna be the major upset. Forget the fact that you beat Opelika in Central. And you beating up on Smith Station and all these other schools. If you can't fucking beat Thompson, let them score on them. We might have to do some serious reevaluating um, high school football on that side of the river. I'm I'm being dead serious, dead fucking serious. And I told y'all if Carver were to get. <coughs> I told y'all if Carver were to lose in the playoffs, but y'all still playing, y'all still had games at Duck Seven State, I was going to come watch y'all play. But I think I might have done myself justice right now by watching y'all play last week because y'all about 12, uh, 24 minutes away from this being y'all final game unless y'all make some serious adjustments. Now, I'm not saying I want Carver to get eliminated before y'all, but I'm just saying you never know what can happen in the world of sports. That's all I'm just saying. 
But it looks like uh, you're 24 minutes for getting an ouster before Carver. I don't anticipate Carver to get ousted next week either. I expect Carver to handle their business, keep the same rolling. March to the championship. It's been 17 years since our last championship, so we're due. We're due. We got to go make that son of a bitch bastard happen. Ringo, Hart County, whichever one comes out of that game, y'all are next. And that's going to be that. All right, y'all. I officially made it to the house. It is about 2 something in the morning. It is 2 something in the morning. Yeah, I got a big adventure coming up in a couple of hours. So I'm about to get some rest. But before I do, I thought I was going to end the vlog where I did. But I do got one more piece out on before I officially end the vlog in style. Yeah, you're going to see my pointy nose. Get over it. Um, first and foremost, uh, I'm not going to talk about Carver anymore because um, I did all that in the previous clips. This is about what went down the Tri-City area. Uh, first and foremost, Auburn. I am very disappointed in y'all. I told y'all before I left uh, last Friday, you go win it all. This was your year. You was the number one team in the, in the state. Ranked number 26 in the country. Y'all had balled out all year with the Central, uh, Central game and Opelika game. Rest of the games, y'all pretty much dominated. And then I was up there to see y'all dominate uh, Smith Station in the regular season and turn around and dominate Bob Jones in the playoffs. I said this is y'all year. And then you lose to Thompson 34-21. to 21. It kind of sucks for the seniors. But a little disappointed because y'all let me down. I told you go win it all. I told y'all. Uh, Opelika, they actually played, played a better matchup than Auburn did. Uh, Opelika played Hoover. I think that game was at Opelika. Uh, their season came to an end as well. 32-29, to 29, so big us to Hoover. Like, so they back in 2006 form all over again when in 2007 when they won it all or I think one of those years they did win it all, but I can't, I can't remember if it was both years or one of those years. But, um, so yeah, Auburn and Opelika, their season is done. Um, next one I do take solace in Spencer, <laughs> Spencer losers. Uh, yeah, they took all their time to my fucker ODH and fuck cover and all that, and they talking about they band is better, which is all lies. But yeah, you can't win your playoff game. <laughs> Thank you, Whitewater. Uh, not not White. I said Whitewater. Thank you, West Sides, because Carver did play Whitewater first week of the year and beat them twenty thirteen. But uh, thank you, uh, West Side. Um, I don't know where y'all from. No, it's not Macon, but um, thanks for eliminating uh, our biggest rival, so they can sit back and watch Carver move on to the next round. Uh, so I guess at this point it's up to Carver and Central. Cause I think Russell County lost too. I don't remember who they played, but I think they lost as well. So. Yeah, it's down to Carver and Central. Who would have thought that uh, at this point it would be Carver and Central? Well, Carver, yeah, but on the other side of the river, I thought it would be Auburn, though. But Auburn's done. Central won today. They beat Vestavia Hills 41-21. to They will advance. Uh, I think they're going to be playing Hoover next week if that schedule holds up. I got to really see that. Um, I was just posting in the, um, in the text, like, uh, who Central will be playing this upcoming week because by the time I get ready to edit this video uh, their opponent will be set if it's not set now. Uh, so yes, yeah, I guess it's up to Carver and Central to hold it down for the Tri-City area yet again. Uh, Shaw's still in it too though but they, haven't, they didn't play today. They played well they didn't play uh, a couple hours ago. Their game is actually 2 o'clock in the afternoon so if they're going to play uh, the Carver Panthers, I guess that's the Carver team from Atlanta. So we'll see what happens with Shaw. And see if they can actually win and be the third team in the mix along with Carver and Central. But um big us to Central. I you know, I like the like I said, I poke fun at Central because they're a Phoenix City team, but one thing I would never deny is that they have a great football team. And they flex their muscles. They they were not it was not intimidated by Vestavia Hills. They went up to the Birmingham area, got dubbed. And I think with Auburn and Oak Park out of the way, they I think they probably next in line as far as um home foot advantage. So 
So it looks like high school football might return to Phoenix City next week. We'll see. The appearance that they are playing Hoover and what's a record. And dang, if they are playing Hoover, that would be a great game to go to. Like I said, but Carver's still in it, though. So, you know, when it comes, push gun to show up, Carver reigns supreme over everybody when it comes to uh, me going to the games. But uh, speaking of Carver, uh, I will say this, though. Uh, Ringo did wind up winning uh, 19 to nothing over Hart County. So Carver will be playing Ringo next Friday. And maybe uh, if I'm if, if if things work out good, maybe uh, Central will be playing Saturday. But I doubt it. I think Central will be playing next Friday night as well. And I know uh, even though if uh, the Carver game will end, the Central game will probably still be. I don't. Well, then again, that's if Central in in Hoover even playing in Phoenix. So they could be playing in Birmingham area or in Hoover in this case. If that's the next matchup, we'll have to see. So maybe it might be off enough. But yeah, just want to uh, run run that down. Oh, Lagrange won to. Uh, they went and blow out uh, Lumpkin County, uh, Lumpkin or Lumpkin County, whatever they call. So big up to Lagrange, forty five minutes away from here. Um, I I did go to a Lagrange game um, about ten years ago when they played Shaw. The Rangers had some really good teams during my high school years. They actually, I think they knocked out Carver one year. So, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I guess the Rangers is good again. They're in the playoffs. I don't know. I don't know if they really had a serious fall off, though. But I know during my high school years, the Grange was like the only other team that was like really good outside of Carver. So. But they're not in the same uh, region, so they won't they won't see each other in the playoffs. So, but anyways, um, I just wanted to run that down right quick. Do y'all update on the high school uh, football score? So, you know what's to come. Um, Lord willing, I will be at the game next Friday uh, when Carver plays Ringo. Hopefully, they can keep the thing going. So. You know, this is it will be the second round. I think it's like yeah, second round, and they got the quarterfinals after that. Because I'm thinking now, I think about it, like when Car- Carver's in the playoffs last year, they beat uh, I forget where they beat, but the first round was a was a beat down. Then the second round was uh, an eight to seven game. That's both of those games were on my channel. Uh, the forty to something beat down, then the eight to seven game, then it was like a, another game in between. I didn't go to that game because of Thanksgiving weekend, and then and then the fourth game was like the semifinals. That's when they played Savannah Christian and lost. So, so we're, we're gonna say second round, and yeah, Carver wins. They'll, then they'll be on to the quarterfinals after that. So, hopefully Carver can keep the same going. Let's beat Ringgold and. Let's advance to the next round. Let's go get that championship. You know, Carver has an easy path. I don't see how in the world they cannot get it done. They, you know, everything's lining up for them to get it done. They just got to go out there and, and and beat these teams, who whoever steps in their way, you know, get them out of the way and keep the thing rolling. So, um, yeah, that's going to do it for me. I'm officially going to end the vlog now. So, until next time, I am out. I'm going to sleep. I uh, says already two something in the morning, and and I definitely need to be uh get some rest soon, cause I like, I'm probably gonna be heading out early tomorrow, which means I'm probably gonna have to watch the Florida LSU game on my phone. We'll see how things work out, but um, yeah, hot y'all here. Good night.